Okay, there's my girl. This is what we got to work with. Stay right there, Bella. This is what we got to work with. So, that's going to be the bed part. Let me get my... I got to get the thingamaduty out of there. Let me see. Hold on a sec. Got to get that thing. Okay, so... I had measured in between here before. So, let's put this down for a second. I learned how to work with both hands. So, that really is four feet. Oh, this is so funny. This doesn't really hold steady. So, in between the wheel well here is four feet. Okay. And this is 24 by 36. And I was going to take the one I have upstairs like this. Uh, hold on. Alright. I'm not good at this stuff. I'll get better. So, I was going to take... The one I have upstairs, which is 44 wide, right? So, this particular thingy, 44, oh, this is a really cheap thingy here. It's not, it doesn't want to hold. Okay. So, 44 would almost go straight over here. That would be too wide. So, I decided with this one, if I do the 36, that would bring it to three feet right here. Okay, so from there to here to 36, about right here, which would then leave another 12 inches over to this other side for cabinet. And then from that 12 inches, let's see, measure this out. Let's see. From the wheel wheel over to the wheel wheel is about, what is that, 4 inches, 5 inches? That looks like it might be five inches from this wall to here. Let me see. Yeah, about five inches more. So, if I did the cabinet, which is going to leave some more space back here, which I could put like a little pocket in there, like a lift-up type of pocket. Now... Shoot, doing this like these, she's now moved her bed over here where it's on the right side back here and her cabinet is on the left and then she has room for her um, to get to her jack and everything, right? But if I'm going to work in here and I need an armrest of some sort, I'm right-handed. I wonder if that's also how... I think she should ask her if she might be left-handed. I think she might be left-handed. So maybe that might be better for her, her cabinet on the left side because she's left-handed. Maybe it would be better for me to have my cabinet on the right because I'm right-handed. I think that's what I'm going to try first. I'm not going to like do nuts and bolts and do all that kind of stuff in here until I figure this out. But, but the length of this is... 24 so it'll be 36 wide and it'll be 24 put that here so if I do here to 24 which is two feet so that could come back here which would give me still a lot of room to work with if I bring that back all the way here or even if I push it in a little bit or take it to right there and leave a little bit of space back here. That's 24. That's going to be... So 36 by 24 back here. 
which after I had already worked this out in my head and on my computer, then when she posted her video that she updated her bed and made it smaller, she said 36 by 24. Bingo. I had already made a decision to not use my one that's 44. So the goal here is to, that's my rug, the goal here is to use this as my platform, you see, and put the baskets facing upward. Now, I could take and put a 36 by 24 piece of plywood across the top to cover it, to give me my seat, and then put a handle on it so that I would be able to lift it up and get whatever I need out of here or out of here. This I could be able to access from the back, from back here. And this part I could access from inside. Or, you know, if it's one big piece, then I could just get to everything. But then if I do one piece and I have them take the 36 by 24, split it in half and hinge it there, then I could put a handle there and a handle there and then put my pillow on top of that. So that's my thought process right now is to have that back here laying down and stick the cubes in there facing up to put my stuff and then order that cabinet to either go here or here which I'm thinking is going to go over here I think over here because I'm right handed and I could probably do something to armrest, cup holders you know stove all that kind of stuff and then doing the 36 by 24 if this is 20 doing 24 all the way back here to two feet from the end of the tape measure there so my video had cut off and what I was saying was if I do the 24 the two feet down there back this way from the end of that tape measure going forward is all going to be open space going across there that I'll have to work with with more stuff but what I think with that passenger side chair again I'm thinking take that out make that into like some type of a storage space with a lift up a handle on the inside um, to lift up use that for the potty storage hide it up underneath there and then that platform that will go on top of that is going to be for her new crate. The stroller I want to get has um, the basket comes off and you can actually sit it in a car seat and then fold up the frame of it. And the frame is a lot smaller than this buggy here. Um, so we'd have to, this buggy here will stay in my, um, will go in my SUV. And then we'll get a new buggy for in here. She loves her buggies. But yeah, take that seat out. Let's go over here for a second. See, I'd have all that room here to do something with. And then I'm thinking, if I do the cabinet, if I do the cabinet on this side though, where I can extend it straight across here and that will give me even more storage and I could probably put like a cabinet with water and a little sink and then to spray her off and clean her up when we're out I could just open this up and grab a little nozzle and rinse her off so that's the other thing the thing about this is when, because we're here in the States, most places when you go and park, if you're going to be, say, pulling up um, maybe to the beach or something, you're going to have that door open. You're not going to have this door open unless you back in. So if I want to go somewhere and be able to sit with the door open with the screen for her to be able to lay here and look out, then the cabinet really needs to be on this side. Unless I have a cabinet there and the bed here 
and I wouldn't be able to put it over here. I was thinking, well, I'll put it here, but then I wouldn't be able to extend the bed out because technically that 36 by 24 here, that 24, I could take that 24, get three boards that will fold out to create the bed that folds out all the way over here. So I'll need to have this side over here just so I'll be able to open the bed up. Plus, yeah, again, leaving that open will leave me that walking space right there. And it will leave me the space here if I go with taking the seat out and putting the potty over there to pull out. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. So this is my thinking this out loud kind of stuff. And then I have to figure out what to do up there. But the one thing I do like right now is that, and I didn't get them, but I'll go back to the store and get them. For now, I bought some curtains for in here. Just so we could take like maybe one or two little rides. Um, I could get some push rods and put them like in the little hole up there at the top there. And the little hole over there. And then stretch something across and give us like a little, some kind of little curtain kind of thing until I figure out what I want to do with the walls. But at least we'll be able to get something. I could get some, what do you call it? Um, marine magnets until I can get this framing taken out. I could put, get some marine magnets. That's metal. And um, hold that up. Put the marine magnets up there to hold some curtains in place to block that off too. But that is a lot of space up there, you know, that could be utilized. But I like that headroom. I don't think I, I don't think I'm gonna pull that out and make that into. I don't think so. I'd really like to get this metal thing. I think taken out. I'll, I'll see. We'll see. Well, at least girlfriend's over here. She doesn't want to see or hear me talk about this stuff. So, at least she's over there napping in the sun. And I have a nice colorful rug. And before I put this down, I'm gonna um I'm going to get a six by four by six um piece of plywood and put in here and I might need to measure that out again because these two things are in the way right now. And then I could put this rug down and just see what it looks like in here. But the one thing I did find, because this van was kind of noisy when I was driving it to Target, was once I put this stuff in here, that box and this in here, it got pretty quiet. It wasn't like as cargo-y, empty sounding once I put this in here. So the more stuff I put in here, the more insulated it becomes and the less noisy it is. And I do think I might get windows put back here in the back. It was, even though that mirror, when you put it in reverse, you can see there is a backup camera on here. I don't know. I like driving and being able to look out the back windows. And I might go ahead and put windows back there, but I'm not sure yet. I'm thinking the two windows back there and one window right here on that door. But leaving the one on this side like it is. So that's what I might do. But this is the beginning. I'm so excited. I've been wanting this for four years. Yep. We just got to clean this little sucker out now. All right. So I'm closing this up. Y'all have a good day. Bye.